G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. I'm going to do a little Christmas coaster set for you today. Um, something I haven't done before. I am going to use these gorgeous snowman face stickers. Got two sheets, they were from Amazon, but they're the same. Like just a copy. And um, because I've only got four coasters, I'm just going to have to pick four. So let's have a little look. Now this one, he's got stars in his eyes, so we'll take him out because the others have all got little dots. Um, this one's got one eye closed, so we'll take him out. So there we go, that's, that's the decision made, these four. I think they're all sort of similar. I mean, obviously if you wanted to do totally different, you could have those two and then, I don't know, one with eyelashes and one without, you know, make four totally different ones and not have those two. Um, but anyway, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do that. So they're not actually, the whole face isn't a sticker. The, you have to sort of peel each section. So there's the eye, and then there's the nose, and the mouth is there. So it might be a little bit more tricky than what I expected. When I bought them, I just thought it, like the whole face was just one sticker, but uh-uh, it's going to be a little bit more challenging than that. So I'm going to, anyway, I'm going to give it a go. So what I want to do is, because snowmen are white, I'm going to put white resin in here. And then I thought, oh, I can use my polyurethane resin. I've only used it once. You know how it sets up in like 10 minutes and it goes white. And I thought, perfect, let's do that today. So this is by Let's Resin, polyurethane polyurethane resin. There's part A, part B, equal amounts. Um, and I, I like to weigh it. And I'm only going to do one at a time. <laughs> I tried on my another video that I did, I tried to do like more in a cup to do a few things. Yeah, don't do that. It cures so fast. You're better off weighing out, I think I'll do mm, maybe 20. 30 grams of A, 30 grams of B, stir it for one minute, pour it in. All right, so that's what I'm going to do. So it's going to be pretty quick. So because it is so quick, I'm just going to do it in front of you. And because I need four little cups, I'm just going to use these little paper ones. So I've got my scale there. I'm going to zero that. I have got it on grams, but if you've got one of these scales that you can change in a unit, you could change it to ounces, pounds, mils, um, I've just got it on gram, so make sure you zero that. All right, so A, not that it makes any, any difference, but A. Um, let's do... Let's do 30. 30 of A. Actually, I probably don't need to put the load on. I'm just in a habit of doing that. And then we'll just zero that again. Don't have to again. Just, you've got to push down on these. You've got to. Oh gosh, I can't do it. Put it over here. You've got to push down and turn it. So I've got one of those safety locks on it. Yeah, there we go. Oh, had a bit of dry, crusty stuff around the edge there. I'll just just get a baby wipe and wipe that off. Made it a bit difficult to open because it had that dry crystallized resin there. All right, here we go. 30 of this one. 28, 29, 30. All right. Just actually clean the inside of that lid as well, but not now. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> now I put that on for one minute and gee, it's very very thin very very thin I'm just going to actually stir it for one minute and see how that goes I did clean my mold with some tape but I can see another little bit of something in there so it's very thin it just feels like like water it's warming up already and I've still got 30 seconds to go. When I got these um, from Let's Resin, there was no 
um, instructions on like how long to stir for. It's getting quite hot now. Well, not quite hot, but I can certainly feel it. But I'm gonna keep stirring it for one minute. I think the first time I did it, I think I stirred it for like three minutes and it cured, it flash cured in the cup. All right, there we go. One minute. Let's pour that in. Whoa, probably don't need that much actually. Oh gosh, I wonder if I can get it out. We don't need that much. I might be able to get two out of that. So what did I do there? 30 and 30. Let's see if I can get two out of that, hey? Probably only need it like 20 and 20, I guess. So I still got a little bit of work time on it. I want to see if I can get this other one. I probably needed like 20 and 20 maybe. Whoops, it's starting to gel. All right, let's just leave, we'll leave it at that. Leave it at that. Oh gosh. Now I'm just going to wipe my little stick here because I'll use it again. And I'll wipe my little spoon just with a baby wipe. I'll put my little spoon back. I if you can torch these. There we go. All right, while that's um, curing, let's do the next one. So at least we know now that I can get two out of one cup. I'm going to have to change cups though. All right, so I will still mix up the same. I'll still do 30 and 30, but I'll split it between these two. So that's an ounce in each cup, uh, in each cavity. I was putting 60 grams or two ounces in, in one cavity, but it's, it's too much. Because we still need to put the sticker on and then we still need to do um, a top coat after that clear top cut to you know keep the secure the sticker down all right so that's 30 which is an ounce roughly some people say 30 grams is an ounce and others say 28 grams is an ounce but look I, I just do 30 it's close enough this one does not want to pour properly <laughs> it's dripping down the side 27 28 You hate it when they drip down the sides they just don't pour properly right so that's 30 and 30 okay now we're done with the scale give it a wipe and I'll put the timer on for another minute and we'll see what it's gonna do <laughs> I feel as if this one hasn't got quite as much as that one but doesn't matter, live and learn. It won't matter, the coasters are still all going to be the same thickness once we're done because I'm going to put the sticker on and then I'm going to top coat them with some clear. Bit hard to see if they're changing colour yet because the mould is white. I can see this one starting to get a bit sort of cloudy in the centre. A few little clouds happening in the centre there. And this is starting to get warm in my hands. Look, I guess you could do four coasters. I'm just thinking back to when I did this the first time. I mixed up such a large amount and I was going to do all four. Um, but I stirred it for like three minutes. <laughs> and of course it had flash cured by then. So, but looking back on it, yeah, I guess I could, I could have done a larger amount. Um, but just not stirred it for so long. So yeah, it's it's a good it's a good little resin to use if you want something done quickly. Maybe you've got some really fine detail you want to do because it is so thin that if you've got anything with little small details, um, you know it's going to run into them really easily. Now this one has gone quite white. It's deeper, so the the deeper it is, the faster it's going to cure. 
clean off my little stick. Make sure my little lids are on my resin there. Tighten those up. That's done. All right, so that's pretty much me done now. We're just going to wait for these to cure. Oh, gosh, I stuck my finger in it. I was trying to get the little thing off the edge there. Oh, there's something in there. Let's put some alcohol on my, my glove. Tidy that up. See, I fiddle. I'm a fiddler. I'm a fiddler. All right, so basically that's it. Um, I'm going to give them, say, 15 minutes. I'm going to go and make myself a coffee. Wait for 15 minutes. We'll come back. They should be rock hard. Um, and you could, if you wanted to, demold them then, but I'm not going to demold. We're going to put the stickers on. Oh, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to actually do that. Looking at the stickers, the eyebrows... The eyebrows are separate too. So... The ones that have got eyelashes don't have eyebrows. And the ones with no eyelashes have eyebrows. <laughs> these, these two here are quite similar. Maybe I won't... Maybe I will use this one. These are pretty much exactly the same except the... The, um, the pupil is at the top and there's the pupil down the bottom. Actually, these are very similar too. Pupils at the top, pupils at the bottom. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so these two are cured. These two are curing as we speak. You can see. Ah! <laughs> Only joking. That is cured. All right, I'm going to go and have a coffee and uh, I'm going to come back and uh, do the next step. It's like watching grass grow, isn't it? But yeah, it doesn't take too long. It doesn't take too long at all. I'll keep my gloves. Um, use them again. For sure. All right. See you soon. Okay, so these have all cured now. So what I think I'm going to do, just to make it a bit easier for myself, is cut these out. Making sure that I don't cut where I shouldn't be cutting so that I can see where they need to be placed. I think that'll just make it a bit easier for me. Otherwise I might, <laughs> I might cut into something that I'm not supposed to. Okay, there's that one because it's a little bit hard to see. And I, want, I need to make sure that they're going to fit in my, my little coaster areas there that I've allowed for them. If I do it like this, I'll be able to see better, I think. I think I will. And this one. Get around that little nose there. These ones I'll keep for another time. Put them aside. Now, no doubt I'm not going to be able to get these exactly how they're sitting on there. But look, I don't think it really matters because, like, you know, this eyebrow's here and this one's here. They're not, they're not in line. So, you know, if mine's a bit different, I don't think it's going to matter too much. Let's see if we can actually fit them in. Yes. So that one fits. They look as if they're all going to fit. It'll be close down there but I thought if I just do them like this then I'll know where to put the mouth you know I don't want to start the mouth up here uh, at least I know roughly where to start everything so I know I need to sort of put the I might start with the mouths actually because they need to go about a centimeter from the bottom that one's a little bit higher so I think I'll, I'll leave them here and then I can kind of work out where they need to go the other thing I could do as well is maybe just put underneath a little a little dot just like that. How's that? <laughs> You're not going to see it, and then I know roughly where to put the mouth. That's probably that's probably the easiest thing to do, don't you think? 
I think so. There we go. All right. So here we go. First one. I'll just follow my little my little dots. Ta-da! <laughs> okay, I did it. That worked. And you can't see the dots. Yay! I think that's the best thing to do. I mean, you could, you know, you could probably do it without the dots, but me, I'm probably not that good at working out where they need to go. So a dot there, a dot about there, and then the eyes about there and there, just roughly about there and there. That's it. Okay. <laughs> oh. So you would never think that the nose needs to be all the way down here, eh? Hey? Maybe I should start with the eyes. I should probably start with the eyes and then I can um, fit the nose in somewhere else. Also, the other thing maybe is just put them there lightly because this is cured now. So I'm sure if you put them down lightly, not happy with them, you could potentially move them again. I'm just trying to see how far apart they had them. About there. Maybe a bit higher. Oh, uh, no. No, they don't want to come out. Oh, gosh. All right. <laughs> that was lifting the whole thing up. So anyway, make sure you've got them where you want them first. All right, now this little nose, I guess he can kind of go anywhere in here. Just got to make sure we cover that black dot. There we go. <laughs> That's it. I can kind of see the black dot through my white. Maybe that wasn't the best idea. Oh, I we can use something else. Anyway, we've done one. We've done one. I think if I, if I use the black again, I'm going to have to just kind of put it in the in the black because you can kind of see through there so a little tip for you um yeah just be careful of that oh gosh I'm a worry but like I said like I always say <clears throat> do as I say not as I do because I learn the hard way and then you know I pass things on to you so that you can learn the easy way all right um I'll do one more and then I'm going to just pop you onto time lapse and uh, I'll do the others because you don't need to see me do all of them. It'll just be boring. Put that there. Oh, yep, that's going there. Okay, it's going there. Don't know what that is. A little something. bit of feels like a bit of glue sticky stuff all right let's put the nose on actually no we're doing eyes first aren't we eyes first now this is going to be a little bit tricky um okay so the eyes are going to be up here somewhere i'm going to do very small dots like that <laughs> don't do big thick dots you might be able to see them okay so kind of they were kind of like that, but look, I don't think it matters if they're not exactly the same. You're going to get a cute little face regardless, aren't you? Yep. Now I'm going to put this just about there in the black of the eye. Like so. I think it's easier to do the eyes first and then you can just work out where you want the nose. And again, you can look at this, give you an idea about how much gap you've got there between the eyes and how much gap you've got here between the eyes as well. So, but roughly. I don't, I don't think it matters if it's totally, not exactly, exactly right. bring them in a little bit closer that'll do that'll do <laughs> it looks so weird without a nose all right here we go here's his nose and we know that it goes roughly 
halfway between the mouth and the eyes and a little bit closer to the, the side there I think that'll do all right that's it <laughs> two down two to go <gasps> all right all right I'm gonna put you on a tab lapse and um, <clears throat> I'll do the rest and then and then all we need to do is mix up our clear resin and pour it over the top Righto, I have mixed up some just clear resin. This is the Platinum 360 Plus. And uh, I'm going to pour that on. I did um, 100 grams of A and 43 grams of B. Hopefully that's enough. It's a two to one resin. Um, now, because we've got lots of edges around the stickers, and bubbles love to attach themselves to edges of things. I'm going to give it a bit of a spray. Now, because they're stickers, they're they're shiny. It's not like just paper. If I wouldn't put unsealed paper in there, but, but because they're stickers, they've got that sort of gloss um, coating on them. They they should be fine just to spray with a little bit of isopropyl alcohol. We'll see how that goes. So I'm going to see if that'll help prevent bubbles forming. What's that looking so far? Well, let's settle, I'll come back to it because I can see there's a lot of bubbles rising but we'll just let them, let them come to the surface. Make sure that your stickers are down properly all the way. It worked really well, didn't it? Did you see where I was kind of lining up the sticker and then taking the paper out and then just dropping it in? Oh. That was a much better idea. <laughs> it just took me a while to figure that out. All right, here we go. We'll spray again. Just put it in my little atomizer bottle there. Whoa, a bit much. <laughs> a bit much. They're not very deep, like there's not much space left for them, but I do want to dome them. I don't want them to have a lip. If you don't dome your coasters, when you take them out, they'll have a, a sharp lip on the edge and then you kind of feel as if you have to um, sand it. But if you dome them, as in curve the top of the resin, um, I think they look nicer that way. A couple of little bubbles on the edges there. But yeah, I'll just let those sit and wait for the bubbles to rise. And I can't torch now anyway because I've used alcohol on them and alcohol and flames do not go well together hopefully I've got enough just enough by the looks of it I'd actually pinch a little bit from one of the others <laughs> just to dome these two. These two aren't doming quite as well. Actually maybe I need to just, you know what, I'm just going to mix up another, just another ounce, another 30 grams because these two aren't, aren't doming just yet. I don't know if you can see, it's a bit hard to see in the the light what if I do that see this one here it's still got a little bit of room or is that one you can see it's kind of got a curve on the edge hopefully you can see that and that one up the top there on the left it's also got a bit of room so that's what I mean about doming all right um, it's a bit of a pain mixing up an ounce but I will I think it'll look better Righto, a little bit more resin. So let's pour this in. 
just make it sh make sure it's doming I've got a window just there so the light coming in it hits the well I can see a reflection so I can see like a, a white edge so I know it's doming because I've got that white edge on the side there so that's very helpful I found <laughs> working in front of a, a window natural light coming in How's that looking? You're full. You're full. I hope my bench is level because I moved this away and put down a big sheet of vinyl um, so I could do another project. Um, and then I had to move it all and re-level my, my board because <laughs> I've got a board here and I've got pop sticks under it. So I'm hoping that it's I've leveled it okay. A little bit more and then what I do is I get down low and look across the top of the like I showed you on that little video that I just did earlier I brought you down and I just look across the top um, and see if they're all the same if anybody needs a little bit of extra look at that just made enough didn't I just made enough I haven't torched yet I'm just waiting for all the the levels to settle themselves down and the bubbles to come to the surface. All right, that's it. Okay, so um, I'm just trying to work out how much each one took. This is my large coaster mold. It's not the deep one. It's only the six millimeter deep one. The deep one is um, a centimeter deep, and then the extra deep is. Um, deeper again but this is just the regular large now I'm not going to spray the top with alcohol isopropyl um, because sometimes it leaves like a oil slick watermark type thing um, if you don't use 100% alcohol it's got water in it and then it leaves that yeah water and resin don't like each other so don't spray the tops if you're gonna you can spray the bottom um, or you can spray like the back, but don't spray the tops. Well, I don't like to anyway. Little baby torch, not the big daddy, just the little baby one. And I'm just going in the middle, I'm not going near the edges. Because the bottom's already got resin on it, um, so you know, I can torch that. I don't want to be touching my mold. And then over the next 10 minutes or so, I'll just come along, make sure there's no bubbles around the edges. Can't see any, but I will just keep coming in and checking. Nope, can't see any. Um, and, and as they come to the surface, I'll just give them another little light torch. I want to over torch now. Um, you can also burn your resin. For those of you that didn't know you could burn resin, you can. <laughs> it'll go, it'll go yellow, so. And you can definitely see that on a, on a white piece. So don't burn your resin. You end up with a big yellow blob there. All right, so I will leave that for now. Um, I'll come back and check it in five minutes and just give it another light torching as those bubbles come up. And I will also... I will also um, cover it with my food net so I'll, when I'm when I'm done and then once they are unmolded um, I thought I'd go around the go around with my chrome marker now because when you're looking at these from the side half will be white and half will be clear so and I just don't like having just totally white so I'll have white edges uh, sorry silver edges the sides I'll do silver and then just the very tip of the rim um, on top I'll do in silver as well just to outline the edge because I like doing that so that's what I'm going to do so stay tuned don't go just yet I'll unmold these later on today um, and, and do that all right see you then all right it is a later on same day and uh, it's time to get these gorgeous little faces out let's see how we've gone no real wow for wow look at that <laughs> we've already seen what they're gonna look like so no surprise there 
Uh, if you want this mold, uh, the large coaster mold, I will link it for you down in the description. It's just a good all rounder, really. Okay, let's look at these little guys. Oh, they're so cute. What's that? Oh, a little bit of overflow. And I, actually, now that I, when it was down there, I couldn't really see, but I can see there's a couple of little bubbles stuck to the the sticker edge there, which I didn't didn't pick up earlier. Probably should have looked a little bit more carefully at it. The other thing you can do as well when your resin goes down on top of your stickers, you can use a little silicone brush and just go around each sticker. So another do as I say, not as I do moment, because um, that will just sort of pick off any little bubbles that you may have, but it still looks really, really good. Love it. All right, now let's see what it's going to look like with the silver. Now, when you shake these, make sure you shake them with the lid on. Otherwise, you'll get paint flying everywhere. I've done that. I have done that. Okay, I think we're good there. Let's just move them all out of the way. I'll just do one for now. Make sure that I've got colour on it. This is my little, my little dabber. It doesn't look as if it's dabbing really well. I might need a bit more of a shake until we can hear the ball. Can't really hear the ball unless it's empty. Hmm. Well, we'll see. We'll see. I'm, I'm sort of thinking it might be might be a bit on the empty side, but let's have a look. See there, you can see the the white and the clear. That's why I thought it would be nice just to um, cover it. It's not going on the best. It's really not. It's a nice colour. Let me see what else I've got. Um, I've got my Deco colour silver. I tend to always come back to these. Oops, that one <laughs> needs to be shooken up a bit more. Okay, that's better. It just needed a bit more of a, a shake. Let's see if this is any better. Oops. Shaking the screen. Now with this, because I'm holding it on the sides, it's a little bit difficult to paint all the way around. You kind of have to hold it like like that. Which is okay. I'm not going to do them all now. I'm just going to do one so that we can see what it looks like. It's a good idea to get as much of the silver on as you can, like on the first coat because it's really hard to do a second coat. It, it kind of pulls the top coat off. So do it thick and just do little light brushes because, yeah, like I said, it's, it, if you try and do two coats, it's, uh, it's a bit tricky. Can be difficult. So I'm just encouraging that silver paint to come down so I get a nice thick covering. Even if you've waited, you know, an hour or so for the paint to dry, when you do your second coat, it does tend to peel off. Oh, now I've got it on my... I try not to get it on my fingers, but did I? I might have. <laughs> Let's go put some alcohol isopropyl on that and just... Give that a bit of a, a wipe. I don't like to put alcohol on my resin because it can leave a mark, but I don't know how I got that on there. All right, so that, that's the side done. And now what I want to do is just do this little top edge here. So you've seen me do it before, no doubt. I just put my little pen nib 
It's a bit fluffy. It could do with a haircut, actually. You can just trim these if they're looking a bit fluffy. And um, kind of make it make it more sort of flat on top. Make sure there's no little hairs poking out. All right, let's try that again. So we're just doing the, the little top edge there. And again, you can do it as thick or as thin as you want. I don't like to do it too thick. It's probably a little bit too thick there. All the way around. Oops, but not touch it. Touch it. I don't want to get silver on the front. Just go around again and make sure that it's even. I think I've got one area that's a little bit wider than the other. I think that's good. Oh my gosh. Get off, get off. Oh my gosh. The thing with the Deco colour pen, it um it stays on really well. If you leave it on for more than a couple of seconds. Oh, there's a little bump there. Hang on. Let me fix it. I need two. I needed two hands. I needed to put it down. I must I must have a little um a little bump there in my top of my coaster and the nib was falling into it. It is easy really, I'm making that look really hard, I know. <laughs> oh gosh, just my little nib there wants to fall into that little hole that I've got there. Alright, so <laughs> there it is. How cool is that? So that's with the silver. Sure I've got clean hands and without the silver not a lot of difference it just sort of picks up the little shimmer of the silver there on the edge that's really cool love it all right uh, I will do the rest of them and uh, I'll put up a little photo for you at the end but look they're so cute they're just adorable <laughs> all right thank you so much for watching hope you've enjoyed the video um, I'll see if I can find the stickers that I bought from Amazon or was it Etsy? Oh, I can't even remember now. Anyway, I'll see if I can find it and link it for you. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Show me what you've done. I want to see them. Do you think they'd look nicer in other colours? No, they probably wouldn't actually because the, the sticker itself is white. So it might look a bit odd. So white background I think would be best. All right. See you all for the next video. <laughs> Take care. Bye for now.